So I'm sure if you've started to hear this saying in some form or fashion, the real estate bubble is about to pop. The real estate market is about to crash. Whether you believe this to be true or not, let's talk about a couple of things that we can do today to make sure that we're still effective and profitable real estate agents in this kind of market. What's good, family? I'm Martez Kelly, and if this is your first time here, welcome. We drop multiple videos a week covering topics like my personal finance journey, life as a real estate entrepreneur, and how to build wealth by owning multiple businesses. And if this is something that you really want to be a part of, please consider subscribing. So these are things, regardless if you believe the real estate market is about to crash, Regardless of which side you're on, these are things we have to face regardless. Pending home sales have dropped 20% year over year, and we all know that mortgage rates have increased since the beginning of the year. Now, I want to stress that I am not and never will be one of the finance news channels. It's just not going to happen. What I plan on doing in this video is just giving you guys, I think it's five things that I would suggest that you do in your business. Um, and things that I, I, I've decided to do for myself. Just another thing, another disclaimer, I will never act like I'm some sort of expert and that I know it all and all of this stuff. This is YouTube. I'm just a guy on YouTube and all I can do is give you guys advice based on my experiences and things that I've heard from other people that have talked to me. So let's go ahead and jump into those things. I'm gonna look at my phone. So the first thing I would suggest is just to ignore it completely. So I ran a poll on my Instagram and I was like, hey, how, how has the recent shift in the market affected your real estate business? And 100% of the people said it hasn't affected my business at all. Now, it, some people could fight that and say, hey, some people, the people who, who it has affected, they just didn't want to speak on it. That That's on them. But I'm just speaking about the 100% that did. So my, my number one suggestion would be just to ignore all the news. Continue to go at your business the same way you did before. Continue to grind, continue to hustle. Now let's go ahead and jump into the second thing is if you're experiencing a bit of a slowdown in your real estate business lead generation services that you pay for i would highly recommend you tone that down a bit what i honestly would suggest is that you guys revert to free lead services whether that's uh door knocking uh i would also say starting a youtube channel i started my own i'll put it up right here i uh, started this channel back in december i put about six videos i think on there i have a couple of shorts on there as well but that channel has exploded i get calls almost daily and i'm working with some big time clients just off of that one youtube channel it has over 550 subscribers right now and i think we're over 20 000, 30 000 views what i say in those uh, videos is just breaking down my city and how that can actually help everybody and that's one of the things that i would highly suggest for you guys if you're experiencing a bit of a slowdown, pull back some of your expenses and go try some things that are actually free. Social media as well. The third thing, which I don't think many of you guys will actually uh, even try. I wouldn't say start wholesaling real estate, but at least taking a, adapting a wholesale real estate mentality. So in, in an environment where everything is shrinking, there's two people who actually come out. You got people who want to buy luxury real estate, which we'll talk about later on. Who, regardless of the, if the market turns down they still have cash that's the luxury market is the thing that actually comes down a lot quicker than the middle of the pack and then you also have your investors as well and they're just looking to pick up properties for the low for people who are having trouble sometimes and want to get out of properties quick so just choosing a side we're going to talk about wholesaling real estate now where you can actually go out and find deals off market and legally do this as well go to the seller say hey i'm a real estate agent i know someone who's actually looking to buy your house uh, are you looking to sell they say yeah say hey what price would you want i see the value here but you do got this wrong this wrong this wrong this wrong uh, how about we ask for let's say 100 grand and the seller's like hey yeah i'm on tough times i'm on tough times i would take 100 grand you go to the buyer say hey he'll take 100 grand and then you negotiate with the seller for your fee that's basically taking the wholesaler mentality where you're just trying to help people who are having tough times. Now, if you guys want a video more detail when it comes to actually this wholesale mentality process, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to bring that to you guys. My next thing, which is tapping into what we talked about earlier, which is tapping into the luxury real estate market or really just leveling up your mind. Um, and I'm going to be real with y'all. Uh, on my second channel, I was just making videos for the average person. Then I had somebody, a couple of people really, reach out to me wanting to buy homes over a million bucks. And I was just like, what? 
did, what? I didn't even know this was possible. So one of the things I will honestly say is what I would highly suggest in this time is to level up your mentality. Uh, if you're experiencing a bit of a slowdown, take some time off to actually level up your game. Uh, maybe take some classes, learn some more skills to pour back into your real estate business. But when I'm, what I mean by leveling up your mentality is bumping up your average uh, client that you're looking at. And what I, what I did when starting this channel and really everything else was I visualized my ideal client. So when I'm talking to the camera, I know exactly who it is that I'm talking to. Maybe you need to sit down and rework your ideal client for your real estate business in these type times. So if you made it to this point in the video, drop a 100 emoji in the comment section down below. And that's because you're a part of the 100 squad. And I was supposed to have five, but I actually have four things that I suggest, but I'll just come up with something for you guys right now because I'm feeling good and I appreciate you guys for hanging around this long. And that would just be to keep going and keep growing in your business. So if if you are experiencing times and you saw that Instagram post that I put up and you just put yes because of that, like just pour into yourself. Like I said before, go take some classes. Maybe you want to reevaluate yourself uh, spend some more time showing homes, uh, walking through homes yourself, just honing in on the actual skill. And also look back through some of your uh, previous encounters with other people. What is it that caused you to either lose that contact or what caused that deal to fall? Was it because of you? Maybe you placed it off on somebody else, but is it something that you could have done in that situation to actually make things a little bit better? That's what I would say to do in these times. That's just my fifth suggestion. I really do appreciate you guys for tuning in and supporting the channel. Uh, I will continue to pour unique content into you guys and bring game every single week. But if you guys really appreciate this video and all of the ones that are coming, smash the like button on today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And please make sure you turn on your notification bell with love. Peace.